हेलो वेलकम टू अरविंद सिंह अकेडमी कैसे हो बच्चों आज बहुत ही नया टॉपिक का हम लोगों को सीखना है वी हैव टू लर्न वेरी न्यू टॉपिक व्हिच यू हैव वंट लर्न अर्लियर वी डू नॉट नो एनीथिंग अबाउट इट अर्लियर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टुडे अ न्यू कांसेप्ट दैट कांसेप्ट इज समथिंग कॉल्ड कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री यू हैव लर्न अल्जेब्रा polynomial number system all these things are the area which has some background earlier given to you in previous classes but uh, this topic coordinate geometry is totally new uh, topic for you and here is just introduction so from 9th class and onward that is in 10th 11th uh, this topic will uh, become larger larger and comprehensive as well but uh, in ninth class there is some introduction just introduction so you will be definitely able to enjoy this topic uh, because you learn new things and uh, this new things uh, has a very good uh, knowledge piece of knowledge which you will uh, enjoy what is this uh, topic all about that i am going to discuss here today uh, the coordinate geometry suppose uh, someone ask you that where is your school then uh, you can say that from your house this is 3 km away uh, a straight in this direction say eastward direction so 3 km from your house towards east direction your school is situated but similarly another friend can say but same time your other friend say that my uh, school is my from my house um, a school is 2 km away this is also true but uh, the school is situated at a fixed place isn't it and it could may be 2 km from your friend's home and 3 km from your home and maybe some other uh, also uh, friends uh, claim that uh, just 1 km from their house or 500 m from their house that all are correct because the point of reference from where the distance is being measured are totally different isn't it your house is 3 km away from the school someone house is 2 km away from the school and the third one has just 1 km or 500 m away from um, the school so because point of reference is different and that is why different distance is being measured means from where you start measuring the distance that is called point of reference and um, to represent a fixed position of a point two perpendicular distance from uh, uh, points can be measured or from a line can be measured for example suppose you have a table lamp on your table where you are studying right now and table lamp can be measured from one corner at certain distance and another corner from certain distance or one edge of the uh, table from a fixed distance say 2 meter or 2 uh, 10 cm and from another uh, edge of the table it may be 5 cm similarly here I, on this uh, screen you can see the distance of my uh, nose is uh, uh, from this corner it will be certain distance from this corner it will be certain distance but since two line intersect at one and only point and therefore this position will be unique so uh, we are just uh, dealing with the situation that when two lines are drawn and perpendicular to each other then there will be one and only one point of intersection and that point of intersection will represent the position of a point a specific position of a point so similarly to represent the specific position of a school uh, we can measure uh, two parallel perpendicular lines uh, where uh, the, it can be measured the actual uh, distance from two perpendicular lines as well similarly uh, uh, this concept is firstly introduced by uh, descartes that is, was the mathematician uh, who uh, born in 1596 uh, he is the mathematician and he born in 19 um, 1596 and his death was in 1650 but he has given this uh, uh, concept uh, to represent the position of a point and that is uh, the representation of a point is called cartesian system on the honor of his name that was descartes so this uh, cartage is by the title and on the basis of this rene descartes a french mathematician of the 17th century in fact uh, he was uh, 
born on born in the year of uh, 1900 and 1596 and uh, his death was 1650 so during this period of time uh, he has uh, contributed lot in terms of mathematics and one of them is a uh, cartesian system so the Scarte was the great, great french mathematician of the 17th century uh, and uh, like to lie in the bed and think one day when resting in the bed he solved the problems of describing the position of a point in a plane and his method was developed uh, of the order idea of latitude and longitude and uh, in honor of this carte the system used for describing the position of a point in a plane is called cartesian system so we are going to learn the cartesian system and the uh, to represent uh, the position of a point the system is called cartesian system and the position which is represented by our distances two perpendicular distances are called cartesian coordinates so coordinates of a point is the two perpendicular distance from two point of reference or two perpendicular lines those two perpendicular lines are called axis so let us discuss uh, what is the cartesian system and uh, how to represent position of a point so first of all uh, there are two perpendicular lines and that two perpendicular lines are called uh, position of a point with the help of two perpendicular lines can be uh, generated say uh, this one is uh, the horizontal line is called x axis and the vertical line is called y axis this horizontal line is called x axis or abscissa 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 called abscissa and the vertical line that is called y axis and which is also called ordinate ordinate these are the two names of the two perpendicular lines and the point of intersection where the two perpendicular line intersect that is called origin origin that is a point of reference and these two are line of reference so here the horizontal lines horizontal line horizontal line is called is called x axis or abscissa abscissa that will basically refer to x coordinate that will refer to x coordinate coordinate and uh, the vertical line vertical line is called y quad axis or to represent the distance called ordinate abscis and ordinate that is y coordinate so the point of intersection where these two perpendicular line intersect that is called origin the point of intersection the point of intersection of two perpendicular lines perpendicular lines are called is called is called origin origin right origin there are measurement of the distance from origin the right side measurement is called right hand side there is a measurement of right hand side and left hand side so in right hand side measurement is called positive x axis that is positive x axis positive and left side measurement is called negative x axis left side of origin is called negative x axis so that would be negative x axis negative similarly above the origin above the origin the distance measured along y axis is called positive y axis positive y axis and the distance measured below the origin is called negative y axis so that will be negative you know so distance are all distance are measured from origin all distances are measured from origin origin along x axis 
and y axis y axis right man? so the distance here uh, this is this one is called cartesian plane this uh, the four lines are uh, system is called cartesian plane on this because of the in honor of cartesian this carte this plane is called cartesian plane or coordinate plane or coordinate plane coordinate plane right both the things are said cartesian plane or coordinate plane so what is the x coordinate x coordinate there are two important thing x coordinate is the distance of uh, along x axis from origin so x coordinate coordinate is the distance of point distance of any point any point along x axis x axis distance of any point along x axis from origin origin is called x coordinate right now that is x coordinate x coordinate is the distance of point any point along x axis from origin or uh, from y axis because along x axis from y axis y axis is also hold origin um, along line uh, vertical line is called y axis so it can be also measured that is x coordinate is the distance of a point measured along x axis measured along x axis from y axis that is also true y axis that is called x coordinate x axis is called measured along x axis is called x coordinate x axis is called x coordinate right now that is from y axis similarly the distance another important point similarly the distance the distance of a point measured along measured along y axis from x axis called x coordinate from x called y coordinate is called y coordinate how is that let me explain so in a cartesian system if i draw a line two perpendicular line say this is two perpendicular line and here uh, the point is represented as x axis this one is y axis and this one is x dash and this one is y dash then the whole plane is divided in four parts one two three four they are called quadrants this one is called first quadrant quadrant right this one is called second quadrant quadrant and this one is called third quadrant quadrant so, and this one is called fourth quadrant so whole plane is divided in four quadrant in cartesian plane let me write huh? in cartesian plane in cartesian system cartesian system the plane is divided the plane is divided by two perpendicular lines perpendicular lines in four parts lines in four parts the division plane is divided by two perpendicular in four parts these parts are these parts are called quadrant 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 these parts are called quadrant so there are four quadrant in anti clockwise direction from here this is a positive line 
third one is called first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant. So there are four quadrants. Namely said first, second, third and fourth quadrant in Roman capitals. Roman letters. Fourth quadrant respectively. Namely said respectively. Right, so these are called four quadrants. The first quadrant in first quadrant, what is x? If any point lies here, say, then point has the positive direction of distance from x axis. So, distance direction from along x axis is positive, and the distance measured along y axis is also positive, and therefore, coordinate of any point lying first quadrant has positive value. Both x is positive and y is also positive. So any point because distance, this is a positive axis and this one is a negative axis. So here any point if lies in first quadrant, there both x and y uh, coordinate that is distances from x axis, y axis and x axis are positive and therefore the coordinates are positive. Similarly, here x is in this direction, this is a negative of x axis, so in this direction there will be negative value of x and positive value of y. So negative x and positive y and therefore any point lie in second quadrant has coordinate x coordinate would be negative and y coordinate would be positive. Here x coordinate will be also negative and y coordinate will be also negative that will be in third quadrant. And in this side x is positive but y is negative so that will be positive negative. So remember this four sign convention that where and why the any point lies and what will be their coordinate. So the coordinate is let me explain once again. Coordinate of point is what? If I am writing this say this is the coordinate of the point. Say if this is x axis and this one is y axis, this one is x dash and this one is y dash. So in that way, say point is here, then their distance along x axis is what? Distance measured along x axis parallel to x axis will be like this, isn't it? So distance measured along x axis will be like this, right? And uh, parallel to x axis is this, and distance measured along x axis is called x coordinate, isn't it? So we can write here that will be the x coordinate, x coordinate. So that will be x coordinate. So distance measured along x axis will be x coordinate so this distance is x coordinate suppose uh, for sake of convenience i suppose that this distance is 2 unit so that will be 2 so x coordinate is 2 and the distance measured along y axis is called y coordinate so the distance measured along y axis this one is y axis so distance measured along y axis is called y coordinate and therefore uh, this value will be say this distance is 3 unit if this distance is 3 unit then y coordinate will be 3 so here x coordinate and y coordinate is described here that one the distance measured along x axis is called x coordinate and the distance measured along y axis is called y coordinate so this one is x coordinate and this one is described as y coordinate so x coordinate is the distance measured along x axis from where? From origin or from y axis. Why I am saying these two terms that from origin or from y axis? Because if you measure along from origin, this will be the distance and this distance will be same. So here 2 is the point, 2 is the distance, so 2 comma 0 is the point here, here 1 and 2 and this distance is 1, 2 and 3 so that is 0 and 3 0 and 3 so the distance of 
two unit along x axis this is two unit along x axis and this distance is three unit along y axis so therefore x coordinate is two and y coordinate is three any point why i have written here zero that is very important concept that you need to understand that any point lie on x axis any point lies on x axis x axis has y coordinate 0 y coordinate 0 is 0 similarly any point lie on y axis this one the first information and similarly any point lies on y axis lies on y axis has x coordinate 0 has x coordinate 0 has x coordinate 0 right so on y axis x coordinate is 0 on um, x axis y coordinate is 0 so this distance is 2 comma 0 so similarly if the point is like this side then there will be coordinate like negative coordinate so if i can write one to this side then definitely it would be minus one minus two this side similarly here if x one two and three then this side this would be minus one minus two minus three like this so y will be negative uh, below the origin and above the origin it will be positive and x will be right side of origin it will be positive and left side of origin it will be negative so the things which you need to learn right now that whenever there is a Cartesian system uh, points can be represented according to their coordinate what is coordinate coordinate is x coordinate is distance along x axis and y coordinate is distance along y axis distance along y axis from here from x axis and distance from uh, along x axis means distance from y axis so here if a point lies here positive coordinate suppose 2 3 similarly if there is a point that minus 2 and 3 then point will be here only then x is minus 2 and y is 3 so point will be here 2 and 3 that will be minus 2 and 3 this is the point and uh, that point can be described as minus 2 and 3 x is negative and y is positive x is negative so this distance is negative and y is positive so this distance is distance along y axis is y coordinate so this distance is negative and positive so correspondingly we can have distance along y axis and x axis so the point is here only and this distance is uh, Two unit along x axis so two coordinate minus two and coordinate will be because distance is never be negative now but coordinate can be negative and distance along y axis is three unit and therefore three similarly if a point lies minus two and three minus three then that will be lies here only because minus two and three will be a point which will lie here below the x axis and I can draw this one as there is a point no? and that will be minus 2 and minus 3 point is minus 2 and minus 3 that will be uh, minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 say there will be point like minus 1 minus 2 no need to negative sign right negative side it is understood fact but even if you want to write it you can write it minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 these are the points so here points are minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 so that will be coordinate of this point will be say q is a point so then coordinate will be x minus 2 and y is minus 3 so point can be here this in this quadrant there would be 2 and 3 so point can be here 2 and 
x is positive similarly if there is a point like here say r is a point then coordinate of r will be here uh, x is 2 say 3 and y is minus 3 and therefore if there will be a point that coordinate will be r x is positive and y is negative similarly if there is a point like uh, here say s and x is say uh, this is 3 and y is 3 then that will be 3 comma 3 so positive positive lies in first quadrant negative positive lies in second quadrant and negative negative in third quadrant what i said earlier and the points will lie here positive positive so here positive negative positive uh, positive positive and uh, here this one is uh, positive lies in first quadrant both are positive then they lies in first quadrant if both of them are negative then lies in third quadrant and if x is negative y is positive then lies in second quadrant and x is positive and y is negative then lies in fourth quadrant and you can do that so till now you understood that what is quadrant what is x axis what is y axis you know and uh, what is the quadrant system and which one is called first quadrant which one is called second quadrant and what are their values uh, whether they will lie in uh, positive uh, then where they will lie and if it will lie negative then where it will lie like that so all these things you have learned till now and uh, you know what is x axis and what is y axis we will uh, discuss the rest of the things in the next class and also we will discuss some questions related to this so here coordinate is 3 and uh, this one is say if I am looking for then uh, that will be minus 3 code point will be like here only. so this is s this is 1 2 and 3 points coordinate can be here 1 and that will be 2 and this is 3 so 3 comma 0 will be here only that will be 3 comma 3 and this will be 3 comma minus 3 and accordingly we can find the values of other coordinate Cartesian system also so uh, I hope you got it that what is Cartesian system and how to deal with this and what is coordinate system uh, thereafter uh, we will discuss some question in the next session until then you must revise all these things thank you Hopefully, you understood each and everything x axis. The horizontal line is called x axis, the vertical line is called y axis. The point of intersection of these two lines is called origin, and x axis is also called abscissa. And uh, x coordinate is in fact is called abscissa, and y coordinate is called an ordinate. Right now, so ordinate and abscissa this is also the, uh, the other two names, like uh, you people have generally uh, two names one in a school, and another at home. Uh, by which your mommy called you or father called you that Golu Molu or Golu like that. So here uh, the same thing uh, x axis and y axis they have x coordinate and y coordinate there are other two names like abscissa and ordinates of a point and point can be represented uh, uniquely by uh, intersection of two perpendicular lines and that will represent a specific position of a point. But for this, there are two vertical lines are required, one horizontal and uh, one vertical and one horizontal lines are required and the point of intersection is called origin. And with respect to origin, this is called point of reference. All distances are measured. A right side, there will be positive axis. Left side, there will be negative uh, x axis. And above origin, there will be positive y axis. And below origin, there is negative y axis. So, O 0 is point of reference that is origin is the point of reference from where the distances are being measured as I said that the school is situated at a fixed place but it is 3 km from your home 2 km from your friend home and 1 km from any other student home so depending upon the point of reference distances can be measured differently but uh, there is a need of point of reference from where the distances are measured so this is a point that is origin and with the reference of this origin all distances are being measured and the distances are named as x coordinate and y coordinate respectively.
So hopefully you have enjoyed this class and next session uh, we will introduce some questions as well so that you will be able to understand that how you will, be, you will use this system and how this will be useful to determine position of any point, specific point. So thanks to you. God bless. All the best.